Hey guys, welcome back. It is so great to have you here because we are getting back to what we came here for, which is actually forging stuff. Now that I have the power hammer all set up, it's going to be super easy to just be smashing steel. The uh, the only thing is my garage. It's, uh, it's a little messy. We got like moving boxes and stuff because, you know, still trying to move. We got a bunch of like steel dust. We got a bunch of sawdust. And it is just a mess in here. So before we start forging, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. for today I oh man having that uh, shot back makes things so much easier to sweep up dust and things like that because that metal dust can be really really harmful to you so you want to make sure that you don't breathe that in like if you're grinding and things like that so but now it's time to start forging Well, that's not good. It looks like I am now out of propane, which sucks because I just barely got started forging and I was hoping to have all day to do this, but that's all right. We will just go get a refill. Now while that's heating up, I just want to tell you what I'm working on right now. I'm making bottle openers for my neighbors because 
I'm loud and I want them to like me. Bottle openers that I'm making are similar to that ones that were made by uh, that Simple Little Life YouTube channel. They're a one-handed bottle opener. They're kind of cool. I like them. I've made a couple of them and I think that they make good gifts. And so I'm going to try to impress my neighbors and have them not want to get me kicked out. So this is pretty close to what I'm making. It's a one-handed bottle opener. This isn't quite done, but it's getting pretty close. The next step is to test it out and see what adjustments need to be made to the shape. This is my favorite part about making these bottle openers. See, this is the best part about making bottle openers is you have to test them out. Thank you to uh, IBC. Not saying we're sponsored, just saying we could be. Alright, so after you test them, the next thing that you do is just toss them in the fire. We're going to let that get super, super hot, and then we're going to uh, brush it all of the scale off. Right here. Brush it all off. Of course, you, you have to throw it on the ground at least once. So I, I've been working on two or even three pieces and bottle openers at once because of course propane can get kind of expensive and so you want to make sure that you maximize as much heat as in there without overloading the forge and I, what I mean by that is there is a limit to how much heat can be held in the forge by any individual piece. You want to make sure that the forge is hot for all of it and there's a good working heat. Because I'm not making Damascus or anything like that, it doesn't need to be ridiculously hot, but it needs to be to the point where all of the pieces can get up to a working temperature quickly and easily. What you do is while it's you let it cool off a little bit, and while it's still a little bit hot, just spread on some linseed oil. That gives it a really, really nice black, black forged finish. All right, and then you just let it cool off all the way. All right, that is one bottle opener done. About. 11 more to go. So a uh, quick update on the power hammer. As you've probably seen me throughout this video, I've still just been kind of tweaking it a little bit. I had accidentally bent the flywheel right there, so it was it was really really off, and the belt kit coming off, so I had to uh, move that back. I also got just a little bit of a smaller drive wheel for the motor, and that just helps it not get so out of control while I'm forging. And, uh, but still gives me a lot of control, which is super nice. I've been really impressed with how clean the forging is from the power hammer. It just makes everything look nice and smooth and no like extra divots or hammer marks on it that are unnecessary. And now it's raining. Isn't that just lovely? It's nice when it rains when you're forging because you stay cool, but I also don't like actually being out in the rain, so I might call it a day.